Cheer on with Friday Night Football's Cheerleaders of the Week. It wasn't pretty, but three weeks ago, Red Bank silenced Loudon 13 to nothing. That win earned Red Bank another region title and home field advantage. Home field advantage they intended to take advantage of as they welcomed Loudon right back to the Lions then for the state quarterfinals tonight. Sports reporter Mary Frances Hoots joins us live from Red Bank with the good stuff. Well, Paul, a lot of good stuff. Really competitive game for all four quarters. Both teams pretty heavy on the run, and you really saw that in the first half. They were just wearing that clock out. It was only 40 minutes long in the first half, so just wearing the clock out in the run game. Now, the Lions, they did have their offensive struggles early, but it was their defense that kept them in the game. First drive looks to be promising for the Redskins. Keaton Herrig decides he's going to keep it. Why not? Beats the last Red Bank defender 51 yards into the end zone, but only to be called back on a holding penalty. So we're still at zeros, but they look to get on the board early again. But Josh Blackman said no, sir. He blocks that field goal. And we are still at zeros. Red Bank finally picking up some momentum. Joseph Blackman right down the middle. 29 yards for the first touchdown of the game. Loudon hanging in there though. Mackenzie Lunford gets a whole shout out to the offensive line on that one. 10 to 7, Red Bank at the half. And then Lemire Strickland, ouch! Just destroys that guy and takes off 74 yards into the end zone. Teammates loving that play. That's AD Pritcher screaming for him on the sidelines. And you think you've seen the last of him? You haven't. Third and long, dump it to Strickland. He busts a move, add on 10 extra yards this time, 84 yards to the house. Lions win 24 to 14. Well, you're playing a high quality opponent and they made some, some good adjustments against what we came out in and it's a matter of uh, just getting them in, getting them settled and figuring out what we need to do to, to get the ball moving. We open the space, I just see green, green go. Green and go when I see my lineman. Made a good open hole for me, just green and go. Anytime you have to make a team drive the field, you got an advantage. So I'm really proud of our guys for keeping people in front of them. I think we're still a football team that can play cleaner and better, and that's uh, that's good for us. You're going to stay focused, try to get past next week, keep going. And with the win, the Lions are moving to the state semifinals. How exciting is that? You can probably just feel the energy in the stadium, in the stands, on the field, with the players standing on the sideline. The energy is just so contagious. It's translating out into the field. So, Paul, let's get this team to Cookville. We're now live in Red Bank. Mary Frances Hooch, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Hooch, thank you so much for that report. Big win for Red Bank. They get, oh, it's a daunting cat task, Alcoa at Red Bank in the semis. Next Friday in 2A now, a tough, tough draw for powerhouse South Pittsburgh. The Pirates had to travel to Gordonsville. Gordonsville's only two losses were to Trousdale County and Watertown. Two quarterfinal 3A teams in a bigger division. It was a game early, but South Pitt did its thing. The Pirates roll Gordonsville 37-7. South Pittsburgh now in the state semis. They host Cofield. Friday, 8 Eastern, Cofield beat Oliver Springs 36-0 tonight in Alabama now. The only local team left fell short. North Sand Mountain shut out in the 2A quarters, 21-0 at Spring Garden. Still a great season for the Bison. How fitting that Fan Cam would return to Meigs County tonight. They are into the semifinals, yes, but tonight marked their final home game. So here's to you, the Meigs County faithful. Fan Cam through the lens of photojournalist Sam Blev Dog Blevins. See who's on the Friday Night Football Fan Cam. Sponsored by Arby's. We have the meats.